What is the hardest level of every difficulty in GD? Beginning with the 2 star difficulty, it's close battle between Xmas Adventure and Double Triple Trial. But I think Xmas Adventure is just a little bit harder. This is due to requiring multiple skill sets, like the cube, ship, and UFO. Unlike Double Triple Trial, which only has one game mode, that being the cube. Speaking of Xmas Adventure, this is a 1.9 level created by the infamous hacker Andromeda. The level is eventually rated shortly after at 2 stars? Yeah, even though the level starts off with an insane straight flight corridor. But what about 3 stars? Well, I was originally going to place game as the hardest 3 star because of its extremely awkward UFO and ship parts, but then I found Super Mario Bros 2D. Super Mario Bros 2D is not even close to being 3 stars. The level could be a 5 or 6 star, but the controls are insanely buggy. Every single time you click, you switch directions, which is such a bad idea. It makes simple obstacles like staircases painful, to say the least. And to add on to this, most of the hitboxes don't work. If you kill a Goomba, a corpse sits there, and the level has so many visual bugs, it's insane. Despite the decoration being good, the gameplay is just an absolute mess, and I don't know how Rob thought this was a 3 star. The 4 stars I found were pretty close in difficulty, but both equally annoying. The first 4 star I found was the colorful level. The level definitely would have been the hardest 4 star, but it was nerfed by pause, for the better or the worse. And yet, somehow, it's still painful. Absolutely amazing balancing update. But, the level that I think is the hardest 4 star right now is Story Madness, which has always been an infamous level. Story Madness follows similar tropes of other horrible troll levels, like Can't Let Troll or Troll After Troll, that being that the levels are atrocious to play, and they are also memory levels. So, Story Madness is about as trustworthy as an average YouTube comment. The level is actually nerfed too, but I think that it's a slight bit harder than the previously mentioned colorful level. For 5 stars, I'd picked out Don't Rate This Level by Carmel, due to its absolutely absurd wave ending. Seriously, these wave gaps are more tight than silent circles. But then, I found something way worse, and far more buggy. This is Gravity Zero by Zobros. Do you like it? Do you like it now? Because this is the whole level. To make an already painfully tight 5 star even worse, the input delay is pushed to an extreme. This makes almost every jump indicator as useless as the mirror portal, which is a pretty impressive feat. The thing is, the level is never updated, so I'm not sure why Rob thought this was a 5 star. If there's anything that the community has learned over the past few years, it's the fact that Harders and Insanes are probably the levels with the most inaccurate ratings. Take Fake a Doom for example, the level was 6 stars for a very long time before being reverted back to an insane demon. How could Rob be that off while raiding? Although Superior isn't as hard as Fake a Doom, it's still a very hard 6 star. The level starts off with somewhat difficult ship quarters and timings until the boss fight. The boss fight requires an insane amount of reaction time and memory, but the level still isn't somehow over. The next part is extremely tight robot jumps that are a lot harder than they look. And lastly, the ending is free. Talk about balancing. Also, it's possible to get stuck in one of these cages with no clip, which is pretty funny. If you thought 6 stars were bad, wait until you see hazy blood. This level is the hardest 7 star, and well, it's easy to see why. Straight fly, UFO memory, borderline unreadable transitions, it has it all. Here's an average 7 star, and here's Hazy Blood. Quite the difference. I was initially gonna do Dub Core by Minjaco as the hardest 8 star. This is because the lowest decoration is as unreadable and confusing as a weekly demon. Come to think of it, this would probably be a weekly demon if it was rated properly. That's until I found the harder and insane levels list, a server dedicated to partially the same task as me. And after looking at the list, I found out I was way wrong. Dubcore was so off that it wasn't even in the top 10. It was at 16. Yikes. The hardest 8 star level was shaken by Palex, which is another memory level, except it's extremely unreadable. You might as well just use an alpha trigger and make everything invisible at that point. 
But the thing that confused me the most about the level is the fact that some trolls are invisible, which makes no sense at all. You'd think that you're supposed to make the trolls appear as innocent as possible, but I guess not. Maybe I'm just too old fashioned, I don't know. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Shaken is really fun compared to the hardest 9 star. Just look at this absolute mess. This is Supersonic V2, and is around the difficulty of the original, which is an insane demon. Keep in mind that this is a 9 star we're talking about. Even the intro is incredibly difficult, so I have zero clue what Rob was thinking. And after finding the insane levels list, I found out that this was 5th on the list. 5th. And what was first? Well, this absolute garbage fest. This symbolizes early 2.0 levels. Straight fly, awkward wave corridors, more straight fly, memory, and did I forget to mention more straight fly? And look at this absolutely brutal ending. This belongs in Red World, not a 9 star. Although the difficulty is pretty hard to judge, I would say this is around an insane demon. Despite Animus being the hardest easy demon, I wouldn't really call it anything too special. It's not as bizarre as levels like Supersonic V2 and Hazy Blood, and it's certainly a lot easier. This is probably because demons are decided by the community, so they can be a lot less inaccurate. All the mistakes do happen here and there. The only reason it's on this list is because it used to be a hard demon. Darno Club Sep used to be an insane demon, but has slowly fallen off to a medium demon after a few short months. And I don't really understand why, because there are some parts that are almost the difficulty of Ice Carbon Diablo X. I mean, parts straight up rip off decoration from Ice Carbon Diablo X, how could it not be any more similar? Of course, the level is massively unbalanced as a typical old level, but still. The hardest hard demon was actually a level I'd never heard of. I'm really confused on to why this is an insane demon, since there are ship sections like this, wave parts like this, and painful amounts of this kind of memory. Oh wait, the level's already done at 70%, maybe that's why it's a hard demon. Oh, never mind. The level just keeps on going, harder to read than ever. This is amazing. And for the hardest insane demon, we have Corrosion. Corrosion is just a level that falls between the uncanny valley of an insane demon and an extreme, and got pretty unlucky. But maybe it's a good thing, as it brings more attention to levels like this, but that could just be me. Another thing that makes it harder to judge is its length. The level is around 3 minutes long, which is insane. The weird thing about the level is that it keeps switching from memory and skill based gameplay, which is pretty odd. And lastly, for the hardest extreme demon, we have Sukupin Circles. But I already made a video on it, so check it out. 